Question 14 then from paper 2 of the 2019 Higher Maths, angle between vectors. But it's not the big 7 mark one, it's only 4 marks here. But then there's not all these components and all that arithmetic to do. It's just going to be based on these scalar products. It tells you the magnitudes of the vectors and it gives you this little equation here involving a scalar product and asks you for the angle between u and v. Well, multiply that out. It's associative u dot u plus u dot v is equal to 21. Now, the scalar product of a vector times itself, because they're parallel with each other, is all of the magnitude times all of the magnitude. However, the scalar product of a vector with a different vector will be, yes, the product of the magnitudes, but also times the cosine of the angle in between. And that should come to 21. So there's the equation that's got the angle in it. It's just a case of find that. So 20 cos theta will be taking 16 away, leaves 5. So cos theta will be taking the 20 across and divide as a quarter. So the angle is going to be the inverse cos of a quarter. And if you press the buttons, you get the angle is 75.522 and so on. I'll just put angle equals 75.5 degrees. Yes, there is another angle, obviously, for cosine 360 minus it. But that's just the reflex angle. So the angle between them is 75.5 degrees.